In this first section, we're going to be learning about how to write linear equations in slope-intercept form. Before, we've learned how to graph them given the equation. Now this time we're going to work backwards and write the equation from the graph. To find the equation of a line in slope-intercept form, the first thing we need to do is find the slope. You can either find this on the graph or using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which gives you the slope m. After we find slope, we need to find the y-intercept. We can find this because it's the place where it crosses the y-axis, or it is any point where x equals 0. For instance, 0 equals 27. The y-intercept would be 27. Once we find m and b, all we need to do is just plug those into the equation. Let's look at our first example. Here we go. We have what's the equation of this line? Slope is 4, y-intercept. So this is m. This is b. Plug it into y equals mx plus b. Just sorry about that. So m is 4. 4x plus my b, negative 6. All right, let's show it. Now we can graph it, right? So I start at negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 down. Go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. See how I can do when I graph my line? Boom! That's pretty good. All right, let's try another one. All right, what's the equation of this line? All right, um, what are the two things we need when we're solving this? Well, here's our formula, y equals mx plus b. Ram sign, anybody in over there? What's the first thing? Yeah, that's right. Thanks, Johnny. M, we need a slope. All right, how about a uh, bomb holder? Jill, great. B, we need a B. Perfect. We need that initial value. So let's take a look on our graph. Our slope, remember that's the change in Y over the change in X. So let's see, what do I go up? 1, 2. So my slope is 2 over 1, 2, 3. So my slope is 2 thirds. So in my equation, y equals two-thirds x. My b is my y-intercept. Where does it cross the y-axis? Boom, right here. That's negative one, so minus one. So let's take a look. All right, here we go. We have, what's the equation of this line? Slope is four y-intercept, so this is m. This is b. Plug it into y equals mx plus b. Just sorry about that. So m is 4, 4x plus my b, negative 6. All right, let's show it. Now we can graph it, right? So I start at negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 down. Go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. See how I can do when I graph my line? Boom! That's pretty good. All right, let's try another one. All right, what's the equation of this line? All right, um, what are the two things we need when we're solving this? Well, here's our formula, y equals mx plus b. Ram sign, anybody in over there? What's the first thing? Yeah, that's right, thanks, Johnny. M, we need a slope. All right, how about a uh, bomb holder? Jill, great, b, we need a b. Perfect, we need that initial value. So let's take a look on our graph. Our slope, remember that's the change in y over the change in x. So let's see, what do I go up? 1, 2. So my slope is 2 over 1, 2, 3. So my slope is 2 thirds. So in my equation, y equals 2 thirds x. My b is my y-intercept. Where does it cross the y-axis? Boom, right here. That's negative 1, so minus 1. Could I have also written 2 thirds x plus negative 1? Sure can. No problem. Same exact thing. All right. So let's take a look at the next one. What's the equation of a line that passes through the following two points? Negative 3, 1, and 0, negative 8. So let's talk first thing. Uh, what, are, what do I need? I need this equation, y equals mx plus b. All right. Uh, K-Town, what do I need? Thank you, Zach. I need an M. Perfect. All right, uh, Ramstein? Ramstein. And, fine. Bomb holder? 
Thank you. I need a B. Good. All right, so let's put that in here. First of all, I don't have a slope. I can use my slope formula. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Plug it in. Negative 8 minus 1. 0 minus negative 3. If you need help on that, go back to Mr. Brock's lecture on slope in chapter 4. Negative 8 minus 1 is negative 9. 0 minus negative 3 is a positive 3. Negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. So now I have my m. I'm going to plug it in. y equals negative 3x. Okay. All right, so let's take a look. Our b value. Remember, our b value is whenever the x equals 0. It's our y value. So here it is, negative 8. So y equals negative 3x minus 8. Very good. Ooh, that looks funny. That's just function notation, all right? Function notation is funny looking. No problem. We can still do it. First thing I'm going to do is convert these to points. Remember, this is usually f of x equals y. So this point, x is 0, y is negative 2. And then this point, x is 4, y is negative 3. And then everything's the same. We need to find our slope. So y2, negative 3 minus negative 2 x2 minus x1, negative 3 minus negative 2 is negative 1, 4 minus 1 is 4, so our slope's negative 1 fourth. Plug it in, y equals mx plus b. So y equals negative 1 fourth x plus my b. I find when x is 0, my b is negative 2, so minus 2. You guys are rocking it. Let's raise it up a notch. Oh, word problem application. Extending our knowledge. We love it. So let's see. The initial fee to have a website set up using a server is $48. Initial fee. Hmm. Initial fee. That's our B. That's our starting value. 48. It costs $44 per month to maintain the per month per. That's a rate. That rate of change is slope, 44. Plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. Y equals MX plus B, so Y equals 44X plus 48. There we have an equation. The nice thing about having that equation, now we can find out whatever we want with it. In part B, it says find the total cost of setting up and maintaining the website for six months. So X was the per month, so instead of X, we're going to put 6. That's right. 44 times 6 plus 48. All right, so Y equals, let's see, 44 times 6. Alex from Ramstein, what is it? That's right, 264, very good. Petey, what do you got? What is 264 plus 48, Petey? Thank you, 312. So in six months it will have cost three hundred twelve dollars excellent you know the drill pause the video try them go great i know some of you've been cheating i walk around all my classes you guys aren't pausing it all the time you're only hurting yourself look it's your education it's your future you want to try these and learn from your mistakes that's what it's all about all right so here we go we have a graph we need a slope we need an intercept so my intercept is right here, that's 1, so plus 1. Now my slope, my change in y is 1, 2, down 2. My change in x, 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 2 over 4, that's the same thing as negative 1 half, negative 1 half, x plus 1. All right? All right, let's try this one. We don't have the slope, so we're doing y2, 13, minus y1, 4 x2, 6, minus x1, 0. 13 minus 4 is 9, over 6. Math bracket if you don't know, but we need to reduce that. That reduces down to 3 halves. All right? Let's see what's our intercept. Whenever x is 0, the y value is 4 here. So y equals 3 halves x plus 4. There you have it. This is just the start of a great chapter. I think you're going to like it a lot. 
The reason you're going to like it a lot is it builds on this, okay? So if you're struggling with this, you really need to pay attention. Maybe watch the video again.